All right, we're back. We want to do reactive relics or cold quiet. Hmm. Tough some fun with ice. Alrighty. The first game had a lot more emphasis on ice. Um, like there was a whole world. Oh. And there were the. Oh, it was already active. <laughs> yeah, there were more of these. No, Parker. Parker's trying to sabotage our audio equipment. Although I do enjoy how the ice like reflects light. Oh yeah, that's really cool. I'd forgotten about that. See, the ice helps you get a bit more light out there. Oh! Damn it. I didn't even notice that guy. Well, he went out with quite a bang. <laughs> yeah, once those things start blinking red, they're about to explode. Damn it. didn't die. That's good. It's good when people don't die sometimes. Let's go... Oh, it's just back here. I need a lava suit or something to get that, get that guy. Oh, we need the lava though. That's gonna be... Mm. That might be iffy. Trust this guy with lava. Just, you're gonna die. Yeah. Worth it. <laughs> I just have to hope I don't die. See, there's a diamond up there. Oh. That was already exposed, though. Shh. They don't know that. I do now. <laughs> Drop it right about here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it here so barely any of it goes down there. Yeah, that's how. You, no. Wait, wait, wait. A little more. I don't think that's gonna be enough. See if you can slip through that. No, definitely not. No. All right. That's the. It's the right idea, though. I'm sure we're missing a diamond in here. Well, there's a diamond down here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, then! There's also your untimely demise there. Bitch. <laughs> Never mentioned how much I hate lava. Uh, just barely. Alright. Yeah, there's some annoying times where you can barely even or can't even see the lava, but it's still fatal. Any bright ideas on where to drop that? Right on top of your head. I'm not sure there are diamonds there. Yeah, I can't really think of where any diamonds are. 
that's in me. Usually they're not encased in ice either, though. Yeah, they're usually not somewhere that's totally invisible, unless it's like easily removed, like dirt. I'm betting we get the magma suit. Yeah. Oh goodness. Can you get encased in ice? You sure can. Don't die. Yep, magma suit. Why we don't have let him not have nice things. I'm not sure there wasn't a diamond. You're gonna die. Nonsense. Like you did all that and then you didn't actually go into the water. Unfortunately, removing the ice also removes some of the light. No, don't die. Don't kill yourself. Run. Run. Oh, you had a shield. Damn it. <laughs> Let me get the magma suit. <laughs> I was trying to melt it straight down, it just melted behind it. Yeah, it'll flow against the walls a little bit. Magma's stupid. I hate it. More like magma. Stupid, dude. What? <laughs> oh, shoot him. Those things are annoying. Boop. Are you gonna grab that guy or...? Oh! <laughs> I forgot about that guy. Uh, did he get frozen in the yes ice? Yes, he did. Or, uh... Frozen nice. solid. It's really cool Ooh. looking. Also, the lava pushes you a little bit back as you float, so you gotta maintain your position. Do, 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 do. Now, let's leave some of the ice so we can see. Also, this thing, the shield, invaluable when you're uh, using the magma suit, because then you don't take damage from your own shots, like the heat damage. usually not behind ice. Touching ice, why am I not cooling off faster? I think it does sometimes. I think maybe you have to ram it. I don't know. Because like, I've noticed you take a little bit of damage when you're in the inverter suit. You just come on down. 
you're the next contestant on Price is Right. See, it usually does stuff like that where the, the diamond will be clearly visible on the ice. So, like, you still may have to break through the ice to get it. Oh. Hold on, there's a little bit in there. Diamond up above you. Yeah, stay in that hole. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I'll take the best. Ooh, ooh. I wonder if I can rush into this. We didn't get to see this either. But yeah, this lets you up. Um, the water suit lets you grab ice and move it around. Actually, maybe we did see this a little bit. We can also make more ice. Which is useful in here because it makes more light. Ice has some interesting physics when you throw it. Like, not at all acting like ice. Can you see that diamond? Well, I wanted to encase him in ice. When you have the ice suit, it's useful to have a partner that doesn't have the ice suit. Ah. Oh. You're the man now, dog. Um, yeah, because somebody with the ice suit, it's pretty hard for you to kill enemies. But if you have somebody without the ice suit, then they can kill enemies for you. And only some enemies can kill, be killed with water. And crushing them with ice, as you saw, is not generally easy. Also, with water, you can fully heal your friends, or uh, you can fully heal yourself, even if you're on fire, if you manage to splash yourself back with water. Which can be. You're dead. S -s Shoot water. See? Quite useful. Don't feel like that. <laughs> that was close. Unfortunate thing about clearing that ice is that yeah, it makes some more ice in the bottom here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, grow this bit here. There, oh god, it. damn it! Aww! Huh? Oh, oh, oh! We should bring in ice from. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> carry it in. <laughs> Right. I didn't even think of that. We never claim to be the smartest tools in the shed. Sharpest. Whatever. I didn't even see that guy in there. Oh, 
Plus side, now that we know exactly what to do, this would be a lot easier. You just handle the shooting of things. Are there precious secrets in here? Yes. It looks like there's something down there, but it's just the ground. Oh. Also, you spray your friends down with water. Infinite missiles! Unless you encase them with ice. That's how you're supposed to be. Not sure of the physics of light just magically appearing where there's eyes, but whatever. It works. Spin? Bye-bye, water suit. You will be missed. Ah! The, 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 the. Explosive gas. these assholes are actually useful. But now they don't. You're probably doomed. Jump the love suit? Nope. Alright. What have, we, what, have, what have we said about me trusting me with suits? <laughs> well, here I am feeling guilty for grabbing all those suits. Um, please don't die. Move left. So an interesting thing can happen with the lava, where, say you're spouting out at an angle like this, some bits will get caught on the lava stream and then like fall backwards down the torrent of lava and it's, it, it kills you, basically. <laughs> it's not fun. And it doesn't make much sense, physics-wise, because I mean, the lava should flow as a liquid, but instead it sort of works like little droplets of something floating on top of something else. 
should, you know, group together like a liquid. Ah. Oh god. <laughs> I Good like how I spawn <laughs> right into death. <laughs> Good thing I had that shield. Love spawning into death. Whoa. With the suits, the one suit you will always have two of is the inverter suit, because it's pretty much required to go through the level. Sometimes you will get two hungry suits, hung, um, magma suits, whatever. Usually not, actually. I think with the hungry suit you usually get two. Just because, again, you know, it's how the level's meant to be played, but... The other suits you'll often only get one, and... Occasionally you will get two different kinds of suit. Oh, I'm dead. Oh crap, oh crap. Oh! Did that guy die? I don't know. I think I heard the guy die. I heard the guy die and it looks like we got a mark. Yeah, no, I'm not sure if that mark was there before we started the level or not. <sighs> Oh, more dirt. What? Oh. Uh. Yeah, I was concerned that one by the guy was gonna explode. Got the guy. Because it blew up and he didn't die. We didn't get a mark. Oh, fucking YOLO! Ah! Oh. Damn it. I knew I was gonna die, I just hoped I was gonna grab him first. Yeah. area at least. Oh, that's good. Must have got him. Yeah, we did. It's just quiet enough. I can't quite hear the collect sound every time. Lasers. And lava coming out of the wall for some reason. Because why not?
convenient lava coming out of the wall for once. Icy hot. Convenient, assuming that it stops at some point. It's gonna stop at some point, right? I don't think so. Uh, but I think we I think we're doomed. Yep, we're doomed. What? I think once we grab that guy, we have to run. Oh. Ugh. Not like this level. <laughs> Still don't like this level. This level's for dumb bots. The bots of below average intelligence. We all know that I'm a smartass, so I don't belong here. Not my shield. I'm surprised they didn't hurt the shield first. Fuck you. Death for everyone. It's an all-out death sale. Buy one death and get your family's death free. It's a great icebreaker at funerals. Look how it leaves just enough light to see that diamond as it starts to fall. There's lots of thoughtful design considerations like that. Right, we're gonna get that guy and we're gonna fucking book it. Yup. Got water. There you go. Mine. Yeah, I, I thought the lava was just there to melt the ice thing. I didn't even think of running because it's a long way back. But, sure enough. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> oh god. Oh shit. Just die here. Nope, go. nope. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Just leave me. Just leave me. <laughs> there. <laughs> Flying through the wall. <laughs> Holy lava. The wasn't climactic so, was, end. Wasn't so cold at the end. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Perfect rescue, but not... I don't think we got all the gems. No. Whatever. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I think Reactive. you just... I think all you need the gems for, in general, is... Um, bosses. You need them to unlock the bosses, and then you get a trophy, of course, for getting all of them. I don't think there's any in-game rewards after the final boss is unlocked. At least gem-wise. Uh, oh, 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 it's this one, it's this one. This is the one with the cool... Um, oh, right. ...stuff. All right, this this level is cool because you pull these switches and then the lights free turn on and then the light over here freezes. So you, it's cart com it's compartmentalized. Out. Oh, he was bats. I hate when people are bats. Does that make me racist? Seriously, uh, fuck bat people. Except for Batman, ironically. As far as bat people go, he's all right. He has, uh, at no point in time, attempted to eat my face. Yeah, I really like how this thing sort of cycles around. We've got some pretty cool level design in here. And they really know how to make use of what they have, so they... They do some pretty cool stuff with all the different elements and the interactions between them. And that's why the Pixel Junk guys are awesome. We should do a Pixel Junk side scroller or a Shooter 1 Let's Play sometime. Nonsense, I vote Eden. <laughs> Eden? <laughs> Not the full game. Like, I don't know how that would work, because that game, that game takes a long ass time. <laughs> It's a very good game, but I mean... Let, let's just do the one level where we have to, like, fly. <laughs> Teleport? Did we ever even get that Spectra? I don't remember. All I know is it was evil. Yeah. Very fun, but dear lord was yeah. it. I guess we could play, like, Spectra Mop-Up Crew and play the levels that I haven't gotten Spectra on. I think collecting all the Spectra is a bit easier in the PC version or something. They 
Um, somebody made a like a review made mention of that that it was somehow a bit simpler, but I mean, did, did we miss the way to unlock these guys? Yeah, somebody made it sound like it was easier to get all the spectra, but I didn't quite understand how. Oh, there we go. This level and or the last level make some really cool use of the light mechanics. Button go! This one uses lots of switches. Alright. So the volcano is going to erupt when I open this, so... No secret. I'll be over here to grab this guy. Uh, thought the volcano was going to erupt. Do we have to feed it somehow, or...? Oh, I bet it's this. Maybe? Yep. Okay. Um, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. How'd that go? Alright, get over here. Uh, what? Can't go. Oh, no, this is open. Okay. Alright, we're good on this side. Belly of the Beast. Oh god. Uh, I was gonna grab you, but you exploded. Okay. And we just got those guys there. Anything left on the left? No. There was one guy over there, but I already grabbed him. Uh-huh. So I wasn't sure if the lava was gonna get that high or not. You're a dick. It's not very nice. Frickin' lava guys. Yep. Light fruit. <laughs> like I got one of you. There's just a little tiny opening. It like spurts out all weird. Let's see what's over here first. Oh. Alright. Life for go. Yeah, careful with that. Actually, that thing can just kind of stay where it is. Don't. Yeah. Not alas, good. Alas, poor Tap Tap. I knew him well. Kind of. I bet there's another light. To there the is. Left. Right. No, maybe not. Maybe not. I thought there was. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, they're down here. Huh? Oh. Uh, come over here, these guys. Those aren't insta kill, they just do a lot of damage. So, 
here. Yeah, diamond. Grab where was it? Up here. Nope, no, 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 down here. Oh. There we go. Is that everything? Uh, missing guy somewhere. There they are. Alrighty. Oop. These are jackasses. Flee! Button, go! Oh, this is another one that's on rails-ish level. That was one of those turrets. You have to go in the light of those things' projectiles when the lights go out. So it makes it pretty cool because you have to dodge the projectiles but get just close enough to stay in the light so you can shake off the uh, evil eyeball thingies. Needless to say, there's a lot of spin dashing involved. If it goes, if the light goes behind dirt, it will, you won't be able to see, so don't let that happen. Alright. Even though those explode, um, spin dashing. Oh god. Light suit. How about this? Yeah, this is a pretty cool mechanic. It um makes co-op play a bit interesting, but because at least I think there's only ever one light suit, but kind of makes sense. I I am now completely immune to the little eye thingies, but he is not, so I have to occasionally just like with the magma <laughs> or the magnet suit. Yeah, it's a lot like the magnet. It's like an inverse magnet suit because I have to, uh, I have to use my powers to protect you instead of using, like, not overusing my powers to kill you. Okay, where was that guy? I think we got everything at the top. Must be down all right. There. Over here. Oh. Unfortunately, I don't believe they drown. What the? Oh, these things. These are cool. We don't need to fight them yet, though. If they introduce those at the end of that level, it's sort of a, oh, whoa, what the hell is that? And then you run like crap. That's basically, um, since the eyes can't get to you while you have the light suit, those are your, um, those are what you have to contend with when you have the light suit. Do you have the light suit or should I get it? You take it. Right. So I get it, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> oh, and I like this one too, because the path changes. And... Okay. Yeah, this is where we start seeing these guys. And 
I believe they're invincible until the light shines on them, so you gotta shine the light on them and then attack them. They're basically the replacement for the, the floaty eyes, but we also get the floaty eyes because Remark does not have the, uh, the light suit. Well, I do. They also move a lot slower when they're being, uh, when you got the light on them. No idea what that switch does. Oh god. Okay, I'm going into the water. Let's see what's up. Alright, one more map then after this. Oh, and the help bubble comes up occasionally, you know, just in case you have... Aww, he was bats. Yeah, that's another interesting thing they introduce, is in these areas some of the um, survivors are actually the, the bat monster things. Alrighty! And run like hell. Oh god. I think they kind of missed an opportunity to make those things a bit scarier, because they're not a huge risk. They're pretty slow. I don't know how much damage they do, though, but... I don't know. Those feel a little less intimidating than they should be. A little bit, but only if you have the light suit. <laughs> True. Because <laughs> if you don't, no. Nah, uh... Yeah, that's one of the things that makes the game more interesting in co-op, is the the way the suits interact. Alright. And the lack of suits in levels where you need the suits, you know. Oh. You depend on your buddy with a suit to stay alive. 